What's up guys, Jay Shur from the Engineers Guide. In today's video, I'll show you guys how to change units in AutoCAD. I'll show you some common mistakes which most of us do and how you can avoid it. If this is your first time here, I make tutorial videos on AutoCAD, SketchUp, SolidWorks, CATIA, Creo. If that sounds interesting, then make sure you hit subscribe. So let me just delete whatever is there in the workspace, Control A, delete and check the units, existing unit of the sheet. To do that, you have to go into the top left corner or click on the AutoCAD icon. Then go in Drawing Utilities, Units and the Drawing Units panel will appear. You can see that the scale, uh, the units is set to feet. So let me click on OK. The shortcut for coming to the units window is UN followed by spacebar or enter whichever you prefer and you'll see that the drawing units appears and it's in free. Let me click OK. Let me make a small line of uh, one feet. Shortcut for line is L followed by a spacebar. And let me type one followed by enter. So now this is a line of one feet. Let me measure it. DI followed by a space bar. There you can see that the line is of one, one unit and the unit is being set to feet. So the line is of one feet, right? Now let me change the unit of the sheet to inches in such a way that the existing one feet line changes into 12 inches so that the object is also scaled and hence forward whatever drawing which I make is being made in inches. So that is the correct way to do it. The shortcut for doing that is dash TWG units. So uh, make sure you don't forget the dash dash TWG units is the shortcut. Press enter and in the command manager command line you'll see the six options available. One is for inches, two is for feet, three is for millimeters, four is for centimeters, five for decimeters, and six is for meters. And down in the command line, you can see that the currently the second option that is feet is being selected. Now we want to convert the units or change the units from feet to inches. So we'll type one, press enter. Then uh, a linear display precision. What if you want to change the number of zeros after decibel from four to two, then you can do it. Let us just change from four to two, type two, press enter. You want to scale the objects from other drawing upon insertion. Yes, we want to do it, press enter. Match the INS units to drawing units. Yes, we want to do it, press enter. Scale the objects in the current drawing to reflect change in units. Yes, press enter. Include objects in paper space. Yes, press enter. So now the object has been scaled. Just uh, double click on the scroll wheel uh, to zoom extents and you can see your drawing model. And uh, let me check whether the unit change have been implemented. Shortcut for that is UN followed by spacebar. And here you can see that the units have been changed from feet to inches. So the formula has been implemented correctly. Uh, uh, mind you that the line which we made previously was of one feet and now the units have been changed to inches to so show the when I measure it it should be seen as 12 inches so let us measure it shortcut for that is di followed by space bar let me click on one end point and on the last there you can see that uh, the length is uh, 12 units so that is 12 inches so clearly the units have also being changed from feet to inches and the drawing has been scaled as well. So this is the right way. Now let me show you the way which most of us do. So what we guys do is we guys go into the units, drawing units tab and from here we change the units from inches. Let me change it back to feet again and click on OK. Now technically what should have happened is the 12 inch line should show one feet when I measure it. But uh, let me measure it DI followed by a space bar. Here you will see that the units, uh, the value is still showing 12 units. And in our case, units is feet. So if you change the units from the units tab itself, the units are being changed to feet, but uh, the existing drawing is not being scaled down. So
that is one mistake which i feel most of us do and you should avoid it the correct way to do it is use the shortcut dwg followed by units dash dwg units press enter then select the unit whichever you want let us select feet press enter then just keep on pressing enter till the last double tap the scroll wheel to zoom extend now let, me, let now let us check whether the unit change has been implemented yes it has become feet so previously it was inches now it has become feet Pre Oh, that's it for today guys if you like the video make sure you hit the like button and share this video to your colleagues and uh, friends and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done it and if you're new to autocad i've made plenty of videos on autocad do check out my playlist uh, i'll drop a link in the description so thank you for watching guys thank you